What up, you graphs? I'm back with a load of shitness. A load of cool shit. So it's been a rough week, a couple weeks. Um, personally, kind of. I was gonna say uh, I'll explain it later, but whenever I say something about talking about something later at the end of the video, I always realize that I've been on for like 15 minutes. And I'm like, fuck it. But um, yeah, just just grinding, man. It's it sucked. So. Here's where we're at. I'm trying to figure some stuff out for my family, basically. Uh, and, you know, I mentioned something kind of yesterday. I don't really do for sale for trade. That's not why I got into this. Uh, I really do like the care package thing, sending them out, getting them in. Uh, and, you know, just the camaraderie. But I'm not on here to make anything. But... I'm kind of at a shitty spot right now that I don't really have a choice but to try to figure something out. And I think anybody can vouch that I don't sit on here and try to make a buck at all. So this white this song sums up how I feel right now. Courtesy of the slipknot. Let's all meditate for a second. Okay, so basically my wife hasn't worked in about six years. I make okay money for what I do. Um, okay is not enough to take care of a family of five. So we've been always stuck at the situation to where if she goes and gets a job, you know, jobs don't pay that good right now and don't give you good hours. It wouldn't even, it would barely cover daycare if that. And then, obviously, if we can't afford that, you know, we need a little assistance, which nothing anybody is ever proud of. But they cut that off also. And, you know, it's that, it's that catch 22 that basically you're not even, you're going through all the stress of trying to find somebody to babysit. And, you can't even barely pay for that babysitter with all that extra stress. So, you know, making ten dollars an hour or nine dollars an hour ain't ain't it ain't worth it. So basically, my wife had finally gotten a good job at the post office, which you know they start between sixteen and seventeen dollars an hour, and it's the first time. You know, it makes my wife happy. The day before that she's supposed to start, her car breaks down, and then last week I got hit in a parking lot by some motherfucker. Uh, she was nice, but just the fact of the matter. And my wife just finished all of her training with the post office. And they basically told her to find a car that she could drive in the next week or else we lose that. And I'll just tell you, if you haven't worked in five, six years and you're not a good interviewer, it's hard to get a good job. Like there's, I mean, I can speak from being a boss and interview, doing interviews and hiring. It doesn't, it doesn't make you, like that's not the person that you're going to go out to get, to, to get, you know? So like basically opportunity of a lifetime is slowly just flushing away. So that's why I did that. Um, trying to figure some stuff out about, uh, I don't know. If anybody wants anything from me, if you've ever seen anything that you like, let me know. I don't do any of this to make money. I definitely don't sell my TTMs. Um, but I do make a lot of customs. I do, you know, make the sweet spots. I mean, I could, anybody ever wants to purchase any, let me know. Especially any that you've ever seen. I mean, I still got those. Um, I mean, I could sell I could make something for somebody, sell them the file, and they would get it as quick as they want. Um, or I could print it up professionally and get it to them. But basically, any help would be awesome because I got to try to find a car in the next week. And 
it has to be a special car because male people drive on the right side. They have to be able to toggle their left leg, the brake and shit. So you can't have anything. It has to be a specific car that you can kind of travel between seats. So it's just fucked up. Just fucked up, guys. So let me know. Um, I can't see how many minutes I'm at. Is that, it's either five or two. Pretty sure it's five, though, because I've been going. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Um, I definitely do hit my, uh, any of my sweet spots, any of my customs. I really didn't want to do that. Uh, just definitely get a hold of me. I've only never charged anybody, really. Uh, one person, thank you, Andrew, like, more, like, he wanted to pay me, like, he, like thank me for it which was totally cool um i've had a lot of people ask me about them i kind of try to not blow it off but it just takes a lot of my time but i don't know so that's where i'm at guys um i don't know i want to get out of this slum life you know and when i say that i mean everything provided solely by yourself and then not needing to depend on anyone else kind of like that i think my kids deserve a better life than that and you know it's just hard for me doing it this long all the time but i was going to show my ttms uh fuck it i still will i'll just fuck it fuck it fuck it fuck it i still will here we go it's a badass shit so we're, we're gonna get out of the real stuff Hit me up. I'll put my Facebook below, uh, my email below. Anybody's interested in anything. Um, like I said, if you want something custom designed, I mean, I could spend a long time making uh, making your photo, your custom, and then just send you the file, and then you could print it up with mail picks for a penny, which ends up being like 9 or 10 cents after shipping. All you do is upload it into it, so... I would I'd be willing to sell my time, basically, and help you guys out. So, let me know. Cute graphs. A little hockey. Detroit hockey. A little baseball. Detroit baseball. World Series baseball. 84 World Series baseball, that is. And then, a little white cap action. On the Hugh graphs custom that I made. Of course, I didn't put Hugh graphs on it. Why? I don't know why, but these fuckers are bad. These sticky things right here. This is Zach Shepard, dude's a beast. He's from Sydney, Australia. He's one of our prospects. That's a picture I took at the game. And customized. I've shown a couple like that. So, pretty sweet. I like the little the little shine on the bat, the head of the bat barrel. So that's kind of neat. But uh, yeah. It's like leaving a residue. I gotta definitely get away from those things. Never had him do that before. So, 84, 84, World Series team. There's one auto. And then if I, everything's generally around a four by six if I print it up, but you know, I would trim straight, trim these off with a paper cutter, not scissors. But that is this man. Need no name. Qua. Oh, David. Oh, David. He's an awesome signer. I actually took a really long time to get him back. So that's pretty wicked right there. On the 82. Signed in nice thin blue. Very awesome. And then on the 83. David Jones. <laughs> Speaking of Davy Jones. I said I'd do it. And I told all a couple other guys. Um, well I'll save that for another day. Because. I want to make sure that I practice your guys' names. Before I slaughter it. Uh <laughs> But what's up to Jones Nation? Sub to Jones Nation. He's new. 
try to get him some uh some people and bring him into this cool thing we do um i think he has like 18 subscribers right now but i've talked to him for a long time on uh on facebook he calls me the king of, king of customs which is kind of cool but i don't think i have no crown so oh and he did sign my sweet spot I don't remember if I asked for a inscription. I don't think I asked for an inscription at all. But that's really cool one to get. Signed four of four, two cards, two photos, one sweet spot, one logo. Take that any day. Now this one's really cool. This one I've waited for approximately a year. Um, probably because we just got knocked out of the playoffs. But this guy is... I hate showing this stuff with any white edges. It's one of the reasons why I don't like doing it live. Because I get frustrated, man. I get really frustrated. Because, I don't know. My camera's, I know my camera's gonna just fuck itself. Mid-video or something bad's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna have to retake it. And then I'm not as excited. Then I'm just doing this video like, fuck it. Let's get this fucker over with so I can put it up on this shit so people can see it. But then... <clears throat> Sometimes it's cool because then you get that reaction if it all works out. But then sometimes you haven't doctored up any of your shit. And, you know, I used to, if it's not a perfect 4x6 size, I used to like to send it full, trim it later. Because then if it gets dinged up at all, like the corners and stuff, I'm, it's like, fuck it, I'm going to trim that shit off anyway, so who cares? But I, uh, for that little ramble, this one... This is what I'm happy about, guys. This is what I'm really happy about. So the best players on the team, current players that I've gotten so far, Johan Franz is one of them. Um, I wrote to a bunch of our newer prospect dudes this year. But this guy's not. He's had a couple injury issues the last couple of years. But I'll show you the, the signature. I love this photo. I... I May I say, this is before I really started doing my own customs. These are just ones that I printed up. But I love this hockey town. It's that thig right there. It's that thig. I'm not talking about cigarettes, guys. I'm talking about that beautiful thig. That's this motherfucker right there. Oh. Pavel, Pavel, Pavel. Oh, that's that is the shit. So he signed on here, right there, bam. Um, like I said, I would have done this totally different if I did a custom. But, I mean, you can see it. You don't have to struggle like my uh, Ezekiel Ansa. So that's cool. He at least picked a, a decent spot to sign. Maybe signing on the white jersey would have been better, but I'll take it any day. So he signed two of two. I mean, that's a win for a win. It's like, this, that's what these TTMs are for. It's like, when shit fucking sucks. Shit fucking sucks. I'm talking, my day was fucked. Fucked up. Just trying to get a loan, trying to get a loan. Like, my old loan, I got hit by, I got, I got my car totaled, but I was late on one payment, so they didn't cover my whole thing. So I had to pay off the rest of that loan while getting a new loan. And then my wife stopped working when we had kids. And then... Obviously, if I can only make, if I have to pick a payment, I'm going to make a payment on the fucking car that I'm driving, not the one that's already been totaled out. And due to that reason, to delinquent payments on that, even though I paid the motherfucker off, trust me, I did. Both of them don't touch nothing to do with me. Otherwise, I'd just get my wife a car. It'd be that simple. But it's like... If the devil knows that you're pretty happy, you've done nutted and your balls don't hurt, that motherfucker's just going to kick you in them over and over again and make sure you drop. Just make sure you drop. Fuck the world. So, anyways, that's me. Check out uh, Jones Nation. Jones Nation. Should be an uh, easy one to remember. Jones Nation. 
it's the dude with the smiley face. I mean, like, it's him, and he's smiling in the picture, so look for it. I'll type it in. Show station. Uh, definitely something. So, two graphs. <sighs> Cutting out. Later.